Assalamualaikum and hello to all. We are going to study the discussion for pre-lab 4. DK024. Okay, so what you can see here is cinnamon. Okay, this thing is called cinnamon. Cinnamon. Uh, what is the relationship between the picture that you see here with our topic that is aldehyde and ketone? Cinnamon contains something that is called cinnamaldehyde. Okay, so this is the aldehyde that exists in cinnamon that give out the certain smell of the cinnamon. So aldehyde, cinnamaldehyde is actually a kind of aldehyde. And aldehyde is shown by this structure, yeah? R C O H R C O H. Okay, so this is aldehyde. But the functional group for aldehyde is actually this part only, which is carbonyl group. Okay, carbonyl group. Uh, there is one more, which is ketone. R C double bond O. R. Okay, the difference is in this part. Oh, sorry. Uh, that part is R and this one is also R and the functional group is still the same so that's why this topic is aldehyde and ketone because the functional group is the same okay C double bond O and also C double bond O okay so proceed to our our discussion yeah? okay so pre lab 4 what is the functional group for aldehyde and ketone? So, as discussed earlier, it is actually carbonyl group. Okay, carbonyl group for aldehyde. It is R, C, H, O. This is for aldehyde. Eh? And this one is for ketone. And both of it having the same functional group which is carbonyl this part C double bond O here eh? so this is the carbonyl group ok carbonyl group ok number 2 <coughs> uh, give a test that can be used to identify our, uh, identify carbonyl compound so one specific test that you can use to identify carbonyl compound is actually Brady's test okay it uses Brady's reagent which is actually 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine or in short form uh, DNPH 2,4 DNPH eh? and number three <coughs> give a test that can be used to differentiate between aldehyde and ketone so you can differentiate between aldehyde and ketone even though both contain carbonyl group you can use Tollen test. Okay, you can use Tollen's test. Uh, when you use Tollen's test, uh, your positive observation is silver mirror. So if this one is positive, uh, okay, the test is positive. So what you get is silver mirror form. Okay. Uh, that that will stick to the wall of the vessel at the bottom of the test tube. Eh? Okay, number <coughs> next one is procedure. Number one, a uh, name and write the structural formula of the reagent used for the Brady's test. Okay, uh, this one if you are doing on your uh, Google Classroom, you can write on paper and then insert here as an image. Eh? But uh, but today I, I am going to write down the answer. So name, so the name for this compound for the Brady test is 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine Okay, so that is 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine And you need to draw the structural formula Okay, so for the structural formula, start with drawing benzene ring first Okay, draw benzene ring and then here hydrazine is actually N attached with N okay N attached with N is hydrazine eh? so this one is H nitrogen will have 3 bonding and this one also have 3 bonding so another 2 hydrogen and 2,4 2,4 and 
2, 4 so this is carbon number 1 so carbon number 2 it can be this part or at the top here yeah, it's up to you whether you want to count clockwise or, or anti-clockwise huh? so let's say I, I use this one as carbon number 2 huh? so this is nitro so NO2 2, 3, 4 so this is the another one so NO2 so that is the structure for dinitrophenyl hydrogen let me erase the numbering here okay sorry okay okay so that is uh, 2 4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen uh, that is used as Brady's test the reagent that is used in Brady's test okay number two describe the step to produce tolerance reagent in this experiment okay this one you can refer to the lab manual okay you can refer to the lab manual but i will write down the short form for it eh? okay for you to produce the tolerance reagent in this experiment so what you need to do is number one okay Aqueous, aqueous. How to spell aqueous? Aqueous. E O U S. Okay, that is correct. Aqueous silver nitrate mix with with aqueous sodium hydroxide okay so the hydroxide is an AOH okay number two add dropwise aqueous aqueous ammonia aqueous ammonia until silver oxide silver oxide uh, precipitate here is the thing that is in grey or black colour in your solution okay precipitate precipitate okay sorry precipitate okay precipitate precipitate dissolve okay completely dissolve okay so that is what you need to do uh, to prepare the tolerance reagent in this experiment yeah? ok next one <coughs> experiment and data analysis ok write the observation and write the chemical equation ok so two things that you need to write down if for positive test eh? so we just write down for positive test but Brady's test is positive for both uh, aldehyde and ketone this one is positive for aldehyde and also positive for ketone because Brady's test is for you to test the presence of carbonyl group okay so write the observation so observation if it is positive test your observation that you should see is orange precipitate form okay so that is what happened huh? okay for the chemical equation I just write down the uh, the general formula yeah? So I write down like this R O C H. Okay, I, I draw the O like this because I want to show uh, how it react later with nitrogen. Eh? Okay, so this is the 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine, but I draw in in reverse just to show the position of the reactive site. Eh? Okay, and O2 and this one also and O2 ok so what will happen <coughs> ok what you will get is this part R C H and this one will become double bond C double bond N ok you can see that this part ok we get with this this, this two thing uh, this three thing will be eliminated so you can see that nitrogen will be attached with carbon and double bond so everything else you just draw again and you 
get NO2 NO2 and actually uh, this O and 2H will be eliminated as water so this is the part that is orange precipitate eh? this is the part precipitate okay okay so this is the part where it become orange okay so for positive test this is for uh aldehyde this is aldehyde for ketone for ketone you just change this part h with r change this one in with r okay what i mean is that uh, your drawing for the initial material will be r c r double bond o and the rest will follow uh, because this one only test for the presence of carbonyl group okay what about tolerance test huh? tolerance test uh, okay a little bit different uh, this one only positive for aldehyde it will become inert with ketone so for this one let me draw aldehyde so r c o h this is aldehyde eh? so aldehyde supposedly to become positive with this test eh? so you react the tolerance reagent is actually this thing 2 a g and h3 2 plus and o h minus okay you need to memorize this thing eh? you need to memorize this okay what will happen so aldehyde will change into carboxylate ion okay this is carboxylate ion plus 2 ag okay this is the silver mirror that will be uh, that will be deposited at the wall of the vessel eh? so you get silver mirror produce eh? and other byproduct which is 2 and H4 plus and also 2 and H3 uh, that is the byproduct but what is the important chemical test feature that you want to observe is the presence of silver mirror okay silver mirror will be produced at the bottom of the test tube okay so that is all the observation and discussion for the okay sorry one more uh, the question asks you about the observation eh? okay so we just write down lah. observation eh? observation silver mirror is formed okay this one positive for aldehyde only eh? okay only for aldehyde okay this one only positive for aldehyde okay positive only for aldehyde but in a with ketone with ketone means that the observation that you see for uh, ketone is no changes observed or no silver mirror form okay no silver mirror form or no changes observed it means that when we say the change no changes observed means initially it is uh, colorless for example at the end of the experiment is still colorless uh, so that is what it means by no changes observed okay so that's it for the discussion of pre lab experiment for dk024 uh, try to do your best uh, be better every day and good luck